Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you guys are having a great Thursday. And thank you guys so much for joining me talking all things Masters of the Universe. Today on the channel, guys, once again, we're going to be doing another revisit or another relook at some more of the Mattel Creations or Mattel Origins exclusive figures. Figures like Leo Faker here and Duplicat to the Skeleton Warriors 2 pack. Or the Mattel Creations exclusive Lady Slither figure, which will be the main focus of today's review. We'll take a look at the packaging. We'll look at the beautiful artwork she comes with, the figure itself, and the comic it comes with, right? Which will be a lot of fun to do a nice little revisit of her. Also, we have the uh, the uh, Horde 4-pack. Another exclusive online figure. But we also cannot forget about the Lords of Power 5-pack to the... He-Man 4-pack as well, to the Prince Adam and He-Man 2-pack as well. Alright. So if you give me one second, guys, I'm going to get old Lady Slither front and center, so we can take a much closer look at her in the packaging. So these figures are all online, for the most part. So unfortunately, you don't want to be able to find any of these figures at your local retail store. my turntable up here all right guys here we go so right here you have the master universe logo here there's oh there she is right there gorgeous artwork right there new for 2023 and you're gonna see some very familiar snake men coming very soon now unfortunately I'm, I'm pausing on their names but we are getting um, this version right here in the origins line and him as well. All right, to add to our Snake Man collection. And then I'm not sure about this version of this uh, Snake Man. I don't think he's going to be coming. What beautiful artwork right there. We have Fango right there. Of course, there's the Serpent Slayer, which we are going to be getting very soon in that crowdfunding from a token. And I, I'm very interested to know when that's going to happen. So hopefully very, very soon. We'll be getting some inf more information about the Serpent Slayer. I believe that was the, the, the uh, fan voting winner uh, a couple months ago. All right, new for 2023. And there she is, this figure itself right there. They're more of her human form. And she has uh, almost like, it's almost identical to uh, Tila's um, um, serpent um, uh, staff right there. And the, uh, the Sword of the Serpent. And then there's her more of her uh, lizard or snake form right there with the tail. And her mid-piece right there. Of course, the Snakeman sticker right there. Lady Slither. The, the Evil Slithering Viper. Alright. Of course, on the other side, on the other side, there's just some, some beautiful artwork right there. But the back looks, I mean, the back is one of the most gorgeous artworks I've, I've ever seen. Bright, warm, amazing. All right. And there she is. Cannot wait to get that Serpent Slayer, you know. Now, I'm, now I'm not too sure. Maybe you guys can, you know, tell me in the comments below if we're going to be getting these Snake Men in the Origins line. All right. Very cool. I mean, very, very cool. All right. All right. And I do have, I do have a loose version of her. There she is. And I do prefer her in her more of her snake form than her human, human side. I dropped her sword. Her, there's her little dagger right here. I call it a dagger, not the, you know, a little bit too small for a sword for me. But it looks really cool, all right? Uh, unfortunately, not a, a soft, good cape. It's more of a, a flex, um, flexible plastic, you know, nothing too crazy, but it looks absolutely amazing. She looks absolutely incredible right there. Of course, here's the comic that comes with her. 
called Sword of the Serpent right there. And a very interesting comic. Um, if you read this comic, uh, she pretty much decapitates King Hiss. So, I guess they're fighting for, I guess, you know, I believe she might have been like the one of the first or like the overall leader um, of the Serpent Men right there. You can see she right there, she decapitates his human half right there. Also, you can see that cosmic He-Man once again in this comic area. It's very interesting because we've been getting a lot of this version of He-Man, you know, in these comics. And like I said, I would not be surprised if Mattel Creations give us this, you know, as, a, as an exclusive figure, you know, this purplish He-Man. But for the most part, you know, we almost have this version of He-Man in a way. It's not exactly the same like that Turtles with Gray Skull uh, oozed out purple He-Man. Like, so, I mean, that's most one of our closest versions of him. But like I said, I would not be surprised if Mattel give us, you know, this version of He-Man in, in, as a as maybe a, as an exclusive. I'll be down for that. There he is right there. All right. Of course, there she is right there. Like I said, I do prefer this uh, version of her. And I do have her, her human legs right there. Same as any female body right there. All right. The legs, I mean, the tail is, you know, you can move it around. Play around with it, you know, come some great poses. And also, we're getting that, a couple of things, you know, with, you know, we're getting that merman from the Turtles of Grey Skull very soon. We'll have also have a, a snake tail or somewhat that you can interchange and make some crazy versions of Merman with this tail. You can use any Snakeman you have. You can use the tail right here to create some really cool customized Snakeman. So I cannot wait to get that Merman and try you know, try it out. You know this that tail of Merman, th but I know Merman is more of I think he's gonna have a more of a transparent blue, um, ooze like. But I mean I don't care. It's one thing I love about the Origins line is the, how you can customize and create some really cool figures in your line, in your collection. And if you don't like it, you can put it right back and, you know, and no fuss. All right. It's basically how far your, your creation can take you, you know, your imagination can take you, you know. I don't think I'm going to make it. She might fall. But there you go, guys. I mean, it looks amazing. Really cool. I love the face sculpt right there. The face sculpt looks amazing. Um, the cape can be removed if you wish. You can pop the head up and remove the cape. Um, the hair, now the head can, can I'm thinking, sorry guys. So you can barely move the head. You can move the head, but very slightly because of the, of the hair. It does um, interact with the cape, unfortunately. But, let me take this down. Oops. I just, there we go. Now, I'm curious if it helps. Oops. So, without the cape, you get a little bit more movement, okay, of the head right there. You know what? Why is it ever... Right there. So, she roughly stands for, like, like all the female figures in the Origins line, Okay. And without the cape, you know, you do get, you know, more movement in the face and head sculpt right there. And it does move up and down. All right. Then with her cape on. And there's a nice close shot of the cape right there. I wish it was soft good. I really wish Mattel would, you know, um, give us some soft good, you know, capes. You know, don't, you know, this is still a nice cape. It does have a nice flexible, you know, feel to it. All right. It's nice and sturdy. Okay. Alright. There she is in her more of her human form right there. And like I said, you know, with the, with the tail here, the midsection does come off right there. And you can use this for more for the, you know, the male figures. Hang on, guys. Alright, guys. I grabbed one of my uh, diabolical snake men here. So I can try pop the head.
What they were guys? So like I said, yeah, I mean, you can use your imagination to come up with some really cool, like, figures in this collection. Especially when we're getting that, um, that Serpent's Lair. Alright, looks amazing. Now I'm trying to, hang on, let me see what happens when I put the midsection right there. That works. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately, like, say, with this right here, it will not fit in the male, um, of the bigger portion of the male body. This is snap on the place. It's only good for the female body. Figures like, of course, the you know, Attorney of Goddess, Tila, like all the female figures. Is that, that peg right there is too small. Okay. See, it's very loose. All right. So you have to take this midsection off for it to work for the male body. All right, for the snake men. But very cool. See if I can get her to stand up. I might have to pause. Hang on, guys. All right, there you go, guys. All right, it's for fun, and also for fun, guys. You know, I have his lower half of that snake men, and I'm gonna curious. Oops, if I can take that midsection, snap it on there, okay? And then if you wish, I mean, it's gonna be crazy. But I do believe by doing that, <laughs> you have some really weird, you know, figures you can create with this line here. Like, oops, like I said, it's simple. Just popping off the midsection right there. I'm gonna put the mid part right here off of her and snapping it right back on, and you're good to go. There you go. Same thing with him. He snaps right on. Right there. But there you go, guys. There's a look at the Lady Slither, the Mattel Crisis exclusive online figure. A very cool figure, and I cannot wait, like I said, to get that Serpent Slayer added to, to, to the collection. So I can have my entire Snake Men line around it. There's a nice little close shot of the Serpent's sword right there, or the Sword of the Serpent. And then, of course, we're getting like a list, another, you know, uh, version of Tila's um, serpent um, staff right there. Or even the, the Eternity of Goddess. But there you go, guys. Once again, there is Lady Slither. I hope you've been able to add her to your collection. Go ahead and put her, some of her parts right there. All right. I'm very curious if you can pop the arms off. Yes, you can. Snaps right back on. Very cool. All right, guys, I'd like to take that time now, of course, to thank my subscribers. If you made it this far in the video and have not subscribed, please subscribe, guys. I love talking with you guys, all things Masters of the Universe, like the Origins line here. Of course, it could be the Origins line to the Cartoon Collection, to the Turtles of Grayskull line as well. Of course, to the Masterverse line as well, all right, to the CGI line. Hit that like button, and thank you for doing it. Hitting that like button, guys, it helps my channel out. Helps my channel to get out there to grow for more people like who love He-Man, who collect He-Man, you know, to watch my videos and hopefully subscribe and like as well. So hitting that like button, guys, thank you guys so much. It really means a lot to me, guys. So thank you, thank you so much for doing that. Of course, hit that notification bell. Want to know upload new videos. And tomorrow, you know what? I'm going to take a look. Unfortunately, I only have one. Um, a lot of these figures I only have one of. All right. And like I said, I do hope that Mattel will give us a second chance on some of these amazing figures, guys. Alright, some of these, like, Faker and Duplicate, I would love to get a second chance. 
of getting, you know, a another shot of getting a like a, a loose version of these amazing figures, especially Duplicate. Um, we'll take a look at the in the and the Horde four pack as well. I would love to get my hands on a second a Horde four pack, um, so I can have a loose version. And I, I think we are getting. Let me pause this real fast. All right, give me. Now I do believe I, we are getting this kind of a version, someone of this red version of the Horde Trooper, very soon on Origins. What that, um, that red robot. Uh, I don't think he's going to be exactly like this red version of the Horde Trooper, but I think it's going to be something very close, more like, I think I, if I remember, more like a metallic red, like a nice shiny metal red Horde Trooper, and I cannot wait to get those guys to add, you know, to the collection, you know, for more of the Horde um, collection. But we will look at this version right here tomorrow. I'm going to close look at them. Unfortunately, I'm not going to unbox these guys because they're all inboxed. But we'll take a look at each version right there. Of course, this is the version of the uh, the dark variant of uh, Grizzlor or Harry E Man. And then, if somewhat, we do have this armor here, this black armor with that serpent uh, trooper. Uh, you know, we have kind of similar. So we'll take a look at this version right here tomorrow. All right. Of course, you know, share this video. Who has a passion and a love for collecting all things? Masters of the Universe, like the Origins line here. Of course, to the Masterverse line, to the 80s line. I mean, over 40 years, guys, of this incredible product, guys. It's been absolutely amazing, you know. Um, like I said, I do hope we get some, you know, another chance of getting some of these amazing figures, you know, again um, for our collection so we can have a loose or in maybe in boxed as well. All right. Like I said, like it's been like 40 years, like I said, the 80s, the classics the you know princes of power as well i hope we get princes of power figures you know there's still a lot of figures out there we still need you know if you watched my my review on yesterday about you know about the vintage origins line you know there's still a lot of figures out there that we still need in our collection you know and the origins lines can do it the origins line has been you know can we can get all the like all the horde you know i'm trying to get in the center here guys i'm sorry yeah, I mean, we can do, like, we, like I said, the Origins line can go crazy. I mean, there's no telling how long the Origins line can get, you know, we can do all the whole, the entire Prince of Power line, and we can do the, you know, all the Horde figures, and, you know, we've certainly done it for the most of the Serpent's Men, you know, the Serpent's line, you know, we can do that, and I mean, if we got gone that far with the Snake Men, you know, we can certainly go, you know, and get, like, all the Horde, you know, and all the Prince of Power, we can do the new adventures of He-Man, I mean, this product is, like, over 40 years, guys, you know, and Origins can do it, you know what I mean? We can do, like, all, you know, I, we have had, like a, like, a short taste of the 2000X line. You know, we, we do have a few figures in that line, Origins, but they can go crazy. I mean, like I said, the, the Origins line can just blow up, and we can get, like, all kinds of great figures for our collection, guys, and I hope they do. I, I mean, there's a lot of variety, a lot of, you know, if you're, you know, so I cannot wait. I, I, if they do that or not, I'm, I'm down for that, all right? course you know share this video guys who has a passion and a love for collecting all things master universe like the origins line here from the turtles of gray skull to the cartoon collection all right to the masters to the you know 2000x to super 7 to mondo to funko pops to the 80s line all right so guys i hope you guys have a great thursday and i'll see you guys on friday take care guys and have a good one.